best of luck. It's a diamond, baby, yes, sir! <laughs> Another diamond baby not suffered to three with the trophy rating of 231. Okay, we're zero for 30. Oh, oh, oh. oh, dare I say, dare I say, it's a diamond baby 193 trophy. Man, look at all that old scoring system on the screen. That's your now one era. And another. What's going on, my friends? We're gonna let this thing run through a little bit. We'll say hi to this. It's a diamond baby! 982! Excellent. Tiki, my man, first in the room today. What's happening, buddy? Carl Winfield, how are you? Ryan, what's going on, Slayer? Good to see you, buddy. A large baby on what's going down. Mr. Spasmo. Sir Apostle, what's happening, man? Mr. Fisherman Rue, aka Quick Kill Rue. We were talking about that. Yes, sir. Dizzy Whistle, my man. What's oh, cracking? Oh. Ward Master 87, hello. It's Elroy Boy, how are you today, buddy? Nice to see everybody here. Thanks for coming yes, out. Sir. What's going on, Mr. Matt? Paint Ted, welcome. Matthew Murphy, hey, buddy. How are you, man? Good to see you. Bill Scott, welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Ward and Master's in the house. Nice. I think I said hello already. I'm going to do that, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's you know, a oh, my God. I mean, wow. You realize you said it already? It is what it is. Ray, what's going on? How are you? Buddies, Corey, what's cracking? Moose, what is going down? Good to see everybody. I hope you've all had a chance to check this out. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but the Trailblazer beta, man alive. I've only yes been in the game sir. for like <laughs> 10 years. I read a little bit on Reddit. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get it going. All right, kick that over to the show. What do you do? Here we go. There we go. I'm hiding here at the moment. I have shame. I, I have shame. <laughs> Let me tell you my shame. So for those of you that don't know, there is a Trailblazer beta going on this weekend. It is introducing the true Buffaloes. I know I'm not on Fernando. And the new scoring system, scoring 2.0. Man, I'm pretty pumped about it. I've, I've got concerns. We're going to talk about that. I think there's some good coming out of it. We're going to talk about that. We're going to go through and we're going to try and figure it out. There is so much to this, so many big changes. Uh, it's it's crazy, man. It, the game that we knew, not to say it's no more, it's still the same great game, but there are a lot of differences. And it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to, let's face it. You know, it's not something we're going to get just overnight. But if you haven't seen it, let me just turn on my display capture here. Where, where is that thing? It's down here. There's a button here somewhere. Here we go. Let's bring this over right now and should be on the screen. There we go. If you haven't seen it, this is on the Steam community page. Now, I mean, right off the bat, it looks like a whole bunch of mobile jumble. But really, what this is, is an, in essence, a new integrity sheet. If you've been in my Discord, you have seen the work that our good friend Aaron has put into the most recent spreadsheet that's fully up to date. I saw him working on it today. This is a thing, man. That This right here kind of depicts everything that's going on. Now, you'll see that there's all these numbers against all of the rifles. Well, these are categories. So if we scroll down to this list, you'll see each animal has been assigned a numbered system, i.e. class. So we can see Red Fox is class two. You go down the Spanish Ibex is class four, etc., cetera, et cetera. So this is a very big change to the game because you can now see that, yeah, back in the day, you know what? We used to get a whole bunch of guys and we'd grab a 22 and we'd go shoot the crap out of a bison. You can't do that now. You can't. Your 22 is a number one. And if it's not on that animal list and we go down to uh, the bison, wait, I'm looking at, there it is right here, bison, number nine. So you could not use this rifle 
But what does that mean? Well, we're going to find that out today. We're going to see what happens with it because honestly, I don't know. I haven't seen any content on this yet. I know my man Flinner was streaming earlier today. I missed it. I didn't get to see it. So I thought we're going to figure it all out together. Some of you may already know this. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. We're just going to try and get her all and we're going to go. There's a lot of other changes too, guys. A lot of other changes. Now, uh, if you want to see this, I will post this in our Discord, a link to it. But right now you can find it on Steam. So definitely go and check that out. Okay, let me just get everything sorted back out here again. Um, do to do, do. There we go. And I need my pop up. There it is. Very nice. So there's a lot to it, right? There's there's a lot going on, but there's other changes as well. Now you'll want to read the patch notes and go through it all. And I don't actually have those with me right now. I could put them up. Um, maybe we'll grab them later when things quiet down a little. But basically, what these patch notes are telling us is all kinds of things. For instance. Brain shots, from what I read, are dead. No more brain shots. The antler, the skull, in other words, i.e. the trophy, has to be fully intact to get the score. So you're not going to want to shoot him in the head anymore. I mean, that was kind of what we did with Bison. <laughs> you go, oh, man. <laughs> That's a bit of a game changer. So we're going to have to figure things out. Now, I think a lot of these changes aren't going to affect me too much in the sense that, hi, hey, how you doing over there? <laughs> We got some white tail coming down. You guys get on down there and drink. We'll come and see you in just a moment. Um, a lot of the, the integrity and such, I always tried to hunt with the max integrity weapon. So, i.e., if I hunted with moose, I was out there with the 338. That was the biggest gun permittable that I could use back in the day. So, that's engraved in my brain. So, I don't think I'm going to have too many problems there. But the scoring system has had a complete rework. We still have medals. That's right, we still have bronze, silver, gold, diamond, but we don't have the scores anymore. All those 1K, perfect 1Ks, well, I think there's still a representation of that, but it's a little different. It's not technically 1K anymore. It's going to be a yes, trophy sir. rate. So we're going to find that and we're going to go over that. Dexter Dex, thank you so much with the Super Chat. He says, happy Friday hunting. Appreciate it, buddy. It's been a while since we've done a Friday stream, eh? Definitely, man. Grab yourself a nice cold beverage, a Coca-Cola or Pepsi, maybe. <laughs> and uh, kick back, boys and girls. We're going to have some fun here. Dex, thank you so much for your support, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, yeah, great way to kick things off. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped to try this all out. You'll notice I do not have all my toys. No, I do not. Now, for those of you that don't know, maybe you're getting started. Maybe it's your first time you've been, to a, you've been into a beta. Make sure you opt into the Hunt Club beta. Once you get into that, you're going to have a current daily. All these, you'll be able to claim them. I already did that. All rewards claimed. That gives you a ton of money, a ton of XP, so you get a bunch of skill points, perks. You're not coming into this thing like a brand new hunter. Like, you're not trying to level up through the beta. But, ah, I was a dummy. As you can see, I just started buying weapons, and I'm buying gear, and I'm, all of a sudden I'm broke. Holy crap. As you notice, I don't have much ammo. So... Um, I had to go out and shoot a couple animals just so I could change the time because it was actually in the evening and we weren't doing a night stream. So we're going to walk around. We're going to get a little more and we're going to have to unlock some outposts because I don't have any. My Leighton had not look like this man. Holy cow. God. Those of you that know me know that I love Leighton. And right now I can't go anywhere. So we're just going to work our way through Balmont and start picking things out. See what's going on. Right, Christensen, thanks so much, buddy. I greatly appreciate that. DGB204, what's happening, buddy? It is beta footage. This is, in fact, beta. You know what? I even have something there. Let me let me put this on. Uh, beta footage. Bam. We'll put that up in the corner. Uh, that way there's no mistake in it. Now, I was going to touch base on that. Thank you very much, DGB, uh, DJB. You helped me out there because I wanted to mention, guys, and I don't think it's mentioned enough. This is a beta. So what we've seen here today, tonight, tomorrow, the following day, during the course of the beta, may not actually make it into the game. We don't know for sure if this is how the scoring system is going to go. We don't know that. We don't know if we go and look at the buffaloes or what exactly is going to happen with them because there can be changes. Now, pretty good indication of what they're doing. And they're really just getting us to test it all. But disclaimer, things may change. So I just, I got to put it out there. This this is a beta. Derek P, what's going on, my man? How are you? Good to see you, buds. Thanks for coming on out. 4570 does look like the new go, James. I was going to show that. I think it goes all the way up to nine. Now, not to say that it's going to be great at dropping those animals, but it does have the integrity to take those level nine buffaloes. I mean, that's 
that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. So we're definitely gonna, we're gonna have a stream. Uh, that'll probably be the one tomorrow, which we do at noon on Saturdays, Pacific Standard Time. In case any of you haven't got that memo, that's our set in stone YouTube weekly streams. Um, we're gonna try some different rifles, but I gotta get money to unlock them, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Brooksy? Good to see you, stranger. Nice of you to come on out, buds. Nice to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. The Brooks Brooksy clan is good. Um, I came here and shot a bear and a deer. And it was late. <laughs> but we did have a white tail calling from over there. Now, I'm not going to get all fussed about looking for anything, this or that, or the other. We just want to start shooting things. Uh, because, quite honestly, I want to see these score sheets. I want to see the harvest screens. There's going to be all kinds of changes needed to happen. We were talking about this in Discord. King of the Kill is going to go through some changes. So, And we got some ideas. And it might actually make it better than, than it's ever been. So we'll see what happens with that. Who have I missed? XGN Cartoons, hello man, welcome. Good to see you, buddy. Carl Wingfield, hello. Send help, I'm a disaster. I do hunt in real life, I'm a very avid hunter. Been hunting for years and years, my friend. Uh, I live in, uh, just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canadia land, and we have some incredible, if not arguably, some of the best hunting in the world here. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. This is what it looks like where I hunt, actually. Looks just like this. You can ask Sean Johns if he joins us. He was here. He came up last year and joined me on a hunt. That was pretty fun, man. He came up for a week, and uh, I took him out, and we had a good time, man. Oh, there's a nice looking two. All right. So this is funny because, you know, I'm going off what I know to be beginner's maps and the way they set up. And this is a thing. This has been a thing. This has always been a good spot right here in Balmont on a fresh map. Now let's see. We get a little closer. I do not have the proper binos. I bought too many guns. <laughs> too many guns. Mattress Munchkin, hello. It's been a while. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, the Rolex 24 at, at uh, Daytona tomorrow. Very nice for day. Cash and Clip, what's going on, man? Cold bevy in hand. Let's hunt. Back's doing pretty good, buddy. Pretty good. I've been uh, working on the Renos at home, actually. Trying to, you know, I'm ready to go back to work. <laughs> There's just no work now at the moment. That's the unfortunate part. So, um... I haven't gone rookie style in a while, so don't laugh at me if I misjudge things. I'm so used to my crutches, i.e. range finder, which I do not have, but I think we'll be all right. Okay, so uh, we're going to hit the 30-odd six out. We'll zero it for 150, and we'll let him do his little mad pacing he's got going on. That's a big two, man. That doesn't look right. That's a really big two. Oh, we you. <laughs> The misses jump it in front. Okay, you know what we'll do, actually? Are we close enough? I don't know what they're doing. It says they're traveling. But again, remember, it's a beta, so, you know, different behaviors and such. We, we don't really know what's going to be happening. Okay. Lay down. Okay, let's go pick those couple up and uh, get our first look at this, guys. So what do you guys think? Are you excited for the changes? Now, I, I've had a lot of people today in our Discord, and if you haven't joined, by the way, guys, that really is just such a fantastic place to be. Don't take my word for it. Come on and join up. You can always leave. You don't like it. It's free. <laughs> but we have some great guys and gals there, and the conversation's always lit. And we've been talking about this off and on all day. It's been a big topic of conversation because, obviously, it's a game changer. What do you guys think? Are you happy with the changes you're seeing? Is there something you would have preferred? Now, I'll tell you, it's been compared a lot to how classic the Hunter Classic has been done. And, you know, I, I tell you, it's it's pretty cool. It's, you know, I, I, I can see a lot of merits to that. Um, but I, I really want to get a good comparison going and, and really get some testing before I comment too much on my thoughts on it. Okay, so let's see. Can we pick up that female first? Or are we going to luck out here? Fry me, my man. What's going down? Mr. Austin Lewis. Hey, buddy. Good to see you, man. And Mr. Fry Guy, very good to see you. Miss you, bro. Okay, so as you can see, we're going to take a look first on this girl. Uh, we doubled under at 230 meters with the 300. Terrible. I hit it with the 300. I thought I was doing... Oh, I guh, because I don't have all my rifles. Oh, and I messed up that other one. Well, it is what it is. So session score 88. So there is still a session score. Now look at that. It's, it shows a quick kill bonus down there. Species difficulty, harvest check, 
metal. Okay, so there's lots of different things. And Derek P has become a member here on the channel. Thank you very much for that, buddy. I greatly appreciate support. You recently became part of the crew on the Discord, one of our Patreon programs. That's fantastic, man. Thank you so much. It means a lot, man. It really does. Really, really does. Um, okay, that, that, but now, Derek, <laughs> six, 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 that's terrible. That's a bad number. But so you, you get a bit of a gist on, on what we're looking at here. So there is still the cash looks like it's affected by the quick kill bonus, the harvest check, which would be your consecutive. Oh no, consecs below that. So your harvest check. Okay. So we're going to figure this out. Species difficulty. Then XP is also, so these are obviously the multipliers. Okay. Okay. Good old Rebel, hello. Michael Johnson, what's going on? G-Man, welcome. Good to see all of you. Hey, we're Gail. What's going on, buddy? 42 Marcia, welcome, welcome. All right, so, it's, yeah, it's okay. We didn't get anything on the trophy rating. It's a class four, so we're going to we're gonna get more of this as we go. Oh, so I absolutely ruined this thing. I absolutely ruined it. That's a big two, man. It's a good looking two. Cash, 901. So it was an 86.83 kilogram. I mean, we knew it was going to be a diamond, but uh, absolutely buggered it. We did get a silver out of it, even buggering it. Interesting. So we shot it. So this is good for, for science. Uh, we shot at the wrong rifle. <laughs> and, and you can see you still got a score. So we still have our trophy rating. Okay. Okay. And it's showing us here diamond 270, gold 180. Silver 60. So they're giving us a whole lot more information. All right. All right. What else we got here? Hit information. I can't taxi because I have insufficient funds. Yeah, I'm, we're aware. Thanks for pointing that out. Improper ammo for this, for this animal. So again, there we go. So we see it's not actually done through the weapon class now. It's done for, uh, based off the ammo. Thog murder for fun. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for the follow. Wait, hold on. That was a follow for you all oh, for Twitch. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not with it right now. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a good idea on what's going on, but we got some cash. We got some XP. We're working our way up because we need to get more. We absolutely do. So we can unlock more of the gear so we can test more things. Uh, but it looks great. It looks great. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. I have concerns with all this. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, with, with the addition of, or the change, I should see. I should say. Hold on, where are we going? To double lungs. I mean, that becoming our meta. When they changed that, and they took it off the spine shot. I felt it made it a whole lot easier. And my worry is with this new scoring system that it becomes even more easier yet again. My worry is I've been told by the guys in the barber shop, guys and gals, that uh, you can get multiple shots on an animal, up to two shots on an animal, it has nothing to do with how quick it dies. Or anything. So, uh, I don't know. You see a diamond, you shoot it and mess up the shot, it walks away and it comes back in and you get the same score. That's where I have an issue. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll, maybe I'm wrong in my understanding, but that's kind of how I see this playing out. Well, let's just keep moving and see what happens. Twibbit, what's going on? Absolutely dead. That was the 300th straight video. <laughs> I know, I know, Renee. I used the 300th. I've got, uh, let's see here. I don't have much ammo of anything with me. Well, there's money in the trees. We'll leave that alone. I want to keep moving. we got to get some more outposts unlocked, too. Uh, I want to head up the river. I'd like to head through here. I'd like to do Diamond Alley. I have expectations. I have things I would like to do. And Mrs. B is on her way home. She will be here soon. I waited as long as I could. I was ready to go at like three. <laughs> oh, three o'clock. I wanted to hit the go button. I wanted to go this morning, uh, but I had things going on and uh, I had uh, a guy come by today. I had to get some things sorted. Snakehead, what's going on, man? Welcome. Brooksy Angel, hello. Hello. Good to see you. A good old rebel. How are you, man? Uh, is the 4570 still going to be okay for Whitetail? That's a good question. Let's just quickly take a look see. Okay, so if we go down the list, and Whitetail are now, well, see, I, it's, a, it's a big list. I'd like to compact this a bit, because I don't know where everything lands on it, so now I'm trying to read while talking. I'm a terrible multitasker. 
Where is it? Whitetail is a class four animal. And the 4570, yes, you can still take Whitetail with it. Uh, so that's that's a bonus. I mean, I don't imagine any of that's really going to change. I, I know that, like, looking at that list, there, there's some of the rifles. I mean, it's a preference thing what you're going to use. Oh, well, somebody laid the sod incorrectly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beta. Uh, so that, that that's a thing, right? Like the 223, why? Why even bother with it now? But it's a preference. Maybe you're specifically hunting for a musk deer and you want to take the 223. You know? You know, so you have those options. Or a fox. You know, maybe you want to go and hunt a fox. You could take the 223 if you want. But some of them did get changed. I believe the Mosin is now good for them. That's the thing. I, I believe he's... Uh, Levy Zook, hello and welcome. I'm, I'm not so sure yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think yet. I, we're, that's the whole purpose of tonight. Um, I mean, it's still the game that I've grown to love, that I've spent so much time in. So that's still there. But is it easier? I think it might be easier. I, I just My gut's telling me. You know, because as I said earlier, if, if anybody missed it, I felt when they, when they changed it to the double lung, we all asked for it. We did. Every single one of us asked for it. We, uh, oh, that's a big boy. Hello. Let's grab our 300 here. Would you kindly get out of the way, man? I'm totally interrupting myself. <laughs> I've been moosed. <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to step aside, please. Step away from the mail. Ma'am. She's in front of him, right? I just can't see it now. Oh, we're going to get bad wind here. He's, he's going to smell us. I don't have a collar. Get out of the bush. Are you literally going to do that right there? You are. You bugger. You got a big rack. I want to kill one properly and take a look at the score. <laughs> Bear with me. I would assume Blacktail is a three, Renee, but it could be. Uh, it could be a four. I would. Uh, it would have to be a three. With Whitetail being four, they're just right below it. Killer B, hello, sir. Mitch, a Holcomb, hello and welcome. Michael Bateman, what's happening, man? I can't even see this thing now. I don't know. Does that look like lung? I don't want to mess this one up. Yeah, you come out of there. I'm trying to move around to make just a little bit of... He's probably going to smell me. Even though I put on that scent limb, it only works so well. We need a spot on this guy. I could probably spook him, run past, get on the good side of the wind, and let him come back to his need zone. That's the only way I can hunt moose right now. I can't even see him now. Did they leave? Did we spook him? Did they smell us? Negative Satterstrom, hello and welcome. Bile Monkey, welcome. Hunting with Bobby Dolan, what's going down? It's a four, there you go. Zalipsy, what's happening, man? How are you today? Come on now. He's gone, right? He's gone. He must have been gone. I did get the Hyperion. I had to. I it's I that's my scope, man. It's my go-to. Alright, well let's do that. Let's uh let's move over here. We'll let them get set up. Brian, they didn't run that way. Oh, well, they might have. Did we push him out of here only to have him go over there? Wind is terrible for the direction we're moving now.
Come on, Layton. Do you need to rain so hard on me? For the love of Pete. Okay. Cody Maxwell, hello and welcome. Curtis McCauley, hello to you, sir. Eddie Whitworth, hello, man. Welcome. Dylan, you made it, buddy. I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's the plan. We're going to see if we can get these guys to come poke their nose back out again. We made a bunch of noise, providing he didn't run over this way, and I don't think he did. I think he went into the bush over there. And we're just going to kick it right here for a moment, and uh, maybe we'll take a look at this spreadsheet for those that are just joining us again. We will uh, we'll pull that up, and you can all take a peek at it. Okay, so for those of you just joining us, there are some big changes coming down the line of Call of the Wild. That's our whole purpose here tonight is to check them out. As you can see, this integrity list, which you can find on Steam, uh, I would recommend studying it. I will post this into our Discord. You guys can definitely check it out. Um, but it's got everything all listed. There are permitted classes. Every animal has a class now. You simply need to look them up. And then you look at the corresponding weapon. Get out of here. Go over there. I hear you. Okay, and that's just a famale. Is that the big male? Is that the big boy? It was just a four. Famales. Nothing but the famales. Now, I did take um, my skills and perks, and I, I did happen to go after the Who's Deer, knowing that I wouldn't have all the callers. And coming out here on Layton, it works fantastic. Look at these buggers all kicking back. I was real hopeful he was going to go back to the same spot as I might not be in a very good location for this. Give it a moment. Let me get uh, all my windows back back into jazz here. Keep pulling everything out. I was just a real quick one to sort of show you guys. And so that's sort of what we're looking at. Now, it's, it's a big deal, guys. It is a very big deal, this change. Because it means that you're not going to have the same type of diamonds as we used to. And also, to me, seems like they're going to be a whole lot easier to get. Now, I don't know if I'm on board with that yet. I mean, who am I but some bearded fellow? But, yeah, yeah, I understand what they're going after. But the game has been built around diamonds. And they became very easy when all of a sudden they were just everywhere. Man, this wind is killing me. It's not going to work. They're not going to scoot past me. We've already seen the easy level uh, increase, and I'm just worried that this might make it a little too easy. I'll still go out for hunts just for the sheer joy of the hunt. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up on him. I need my moose collar, man. <laughs> I don't have the deer grunt, and I don't know if the, uh, the deer bleat will call them all in or not. Dustin Counts, thank you so much for the subscribe, buddy. Nice to have you with us, man. I appreciate the support. Welcome to the community. Up high ball, Jaxie. <laughs> hey, rares, man. Mm. What class is the Mosin? Well, I got to keep looking at that list. Um, the Mosin... Is good for a two, three, four, five, and six. Remember, the weapons don't have a class. It's not the weapons. Hold on, I'm walking into a tree. Oh, jeez. You know, you'd look pretty stupid if you did that in real life. Hey, look at that hunter over there. He's just walking into that tree, man. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep we'll keep chattering about this as we go. Um, I'm a little worried. That was a 545 we saw. 
Back in the trot, yeah. Or, or, no, sorry, I'm so used to Zag Tactics. He can be anywhere in there, the 545 to the 620. Um, Zag Tactics are no more, my friends, unfortunately. It was a handy little thing, but I guess it was kind of an exploit, and it's probably for the best, but, uh, you know, you kind of got used to them, and you kind of crutched on them. In your opinion, do the Blacktail need, uh, the Blacktail Rocks need reworked? Ah... Uh, that's a tough one. I mean, I'm not upset with them. Uh, I think because we got so spoiled, so incredibly spoiled originally with uh, with the way they were, the vanilla versions that, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not quite the same now. I get it. But hey, man, I'll tell you, a lot of the deer I see in real life, I mean, even a, a, a small two looks better than some of the deer I've shot. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Meat bucks are a thing in my world. Okay, so should we go back in and try and loop around on that? I do want to shoot that guy, man. He had a big rack. I want to see what it scores. That's so thick in there, though. I feel like I'm just going to waste my time. So, I guess really, Renee, to answer your question, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with all the true racks. I am. Uh, even the elk. Even the elk, because, you know, I've seen some elk in the woods that they just... Pfft, yeah, I mean, it's, hey, look, there's a male. Are you sure? Yeah, it's got Spike. <laughs> Butterfly broke her foot again. Oh, jeez. Well, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? I'm sorry to hear that. I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Hope she's on the mend, buddy. 12-gauge slug is a 5 to 8, surprisingly. Yeah, you can. It's not quite a 9. <clears throat> Excuse me, so gone are the days of taking that out on the buffalo. But, I mean, we do have the nitro, so, you know, there's that. Hello, my dear. Mrs. B just got home. I waited as long as I possibly could. I could not wait any longer. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Did we try and poke through here and see if we can find him? I don't have a collar. I feel like I'm, if I don't spot him... That I'm wasting my time, and I don't want to waste your time. We'll come across something else good. Guaranteed. Car TV, your voice. Okay, <laughs> You should work for a podcast or radio station. I thought of doing a podcast, to be completely honest. That was something I was looking into at one point. Hey, there we go. I spooked him. He's running away. Shouldn't have went too crazy. So much going on right now. I'm thinking too much about what's happening here. I'm trying to work out all these things in my head as we go. Because, you know, it, it's really not that complicated, the changes they've made. I don't feel they are. But it's a lot of changes, and it's taking up my brain space. When are they adding turkeys? Good question, man. Good question. They did say, actually, uh, in a stream just before Christmas, Phil kind of let it slip that uh, they should be in here before the end of the year. So who knows, man? That's a pretty big window. Big buddy cat of a deer that makes racks look small. You know, Cody, you're not wrong, buddy. We do get some really big deers here. I mean, our meat bucks, it just, they're massive, but, you know, called meat bucks because they don't have very big racks. <laughs> Should we sit and wait for this guy? Maybe we will. Maybe we'll, we'll pop over here. We'll chat for a moment and we'll see if he comes back. Not having the collar is a bit of a pain in the butt. I ain't going to lie. Attack. You're right. It's, you stop asking. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, we stop asking them when turkeys come out. I think they're not giving to them, giving us them out of spite at this point because they got absolutely harassed for so long by the community. There we go. Right there. Okay. Let's see if we can catch him on the fly. Oh my God! Son of a. He's going to tease me because he knows. He knows I want the moose. <laughs> he just went up into here. I just caught sight of him. I don't know if you guys saw that on the on the screen or not, but he went right in over there. So he's heading back to that other need zone that we were at originally. So that's it for him. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. What's going on? He wanted some, man. He was coming right back to me. He really was. 
Uh, I'm frustrated because I don't have my damn collar. All right, let's take a look. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this. This is what it's about right here. Getting some of the bigger boys and seeing what we got. Okay, so it's a gold. He was 557 kilograms with a trophy rating yes, of 236. Sir. Now we know 287.6 is a diamond. Snakehead, donate through Super Chat. Do you think they'll add a new clue? I think we might get something, buddy. That's that's probably going to be when we get like the map. But they've already told us what's coming here. Well, thank you very much for that, buds. Greatly, greatly appreciate you. So let's take a look. So um, what did we get? So session score. We got a 450. Okay. So 250 on a quick kill bonus. It's still there. Harvest check at 250. And species difficulty, 50%. So he's a little harder, I guess, because he's a little bigger. We got the lung and we got the heart shot with it. So it was a good drop. Absolutely dropped him. Made some good money too. And you can see your multipliers here. Quick kill bonus, harvest check, consecutive harvest, and species difficulty once again. So our can our, our can checks, which are still in the game, are affecting our cash still, and they are affecting our XP. Quick kill bonus is affecting that. That's pretty much it. Um, the session score. So, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It's very interesting. We're going to have to shoot more. We're, for science, we're going to have to shoot more pixelated animals. <laughs> we'll get some. Don't you worry. But not too bad. Not too bad. So let's take a look at the true score. Nothing's changed here. Nothing's changed here. Your true score is your trophy rating. Here's your breakdown. Yes, sir. Fantastic. And Dylan Fender with the Super Chat. Happy Friday. Let's take a moment and uh, raise our cans of soda. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thank you, buddy. Greatly appreciate it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So, well, we're getting there. So, with the gold, we can see we're at. We are a class eight. And we'll keep getting some more running and we'll we'll see uh, if it unfolds anymore. Bearded Blaze, what's going on, man? How are you? I know. I know. We don't have any beards. What's going down? Uh, no, MSU Bulldog, it does not look like Quick Kill is going to matter at all for diamonds anymore. Thank you, Brixie Angel. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, we do have Shearer's Moose. Yes, we do. We do. Um, they're actually more in the southern end of my province. So that's more what we would see. Mrs. B, yes, sir. my dear, here she is. Bile Monkey with the Super Chat. Enjoyed your content for years. First time I've seen you live, have a beer on me. Thank you so much, my man. Uh, we got to go around this way. I really appreciate that. Well, I'm glad you finally caught us live. That's fantastic, buddy. I That tickles me pink, man. I love hearing that. You've been watching for years. It's hard to believe. I can say I've been doing this for years. Two years. Two years. We hit it real hard for a year. And that's how we kind of built ourselves up and, and and formed this incredible community. Did I just hear a deer burp or Mrs. B? Was that? <laughs> no, she doesn't burp. <laughs> I don't know what I'm hearing. Sparta Dog, hello and welcome. How are you? Butterfly Brooksy, new scoring systems. It, it seems okay. It seems okay. I've got concerns. And, and I'm going to say this a lot. And I'm just going to say it again. I don't want this game to become too easy. And I felt that with the, the change where we all started going on double lungs, that that just took away a lot of the challenge. I mean, I know spine shots were not true to form real life. Like, you just wouldn't, you wouldn't go for those shots in real life. You would certainly try not to anyways if you had a choice about it. Uh, but, you know, with the addition of the double lungs and, and how they buffed that, took a lot of the challenge away and i'm worried that this new scoring system is going to do the same I, i'm not judging you ew if you're watching this um i I'm, I'm not judging i haven't seen any of their content on this yet and i'm sure they have a very good reason for taking it this route and it does seem very akin to the hunter classic to me so hunter classic's a good game i would like to keep them different i mean personally i i like the quick kill it means you got to really pick your shot you know, hey, not inspirational game of my man. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. Car TV, hello. Oh, yeah, buddy. I'll, I'll never let this go. I'm a hunter, man. I, you know, I play a lot of other games, but I'll always keep this going. And at least once a week, we will do this here on YouTube together. Uh, over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jaxiebeard. 
Um, the last week and a half, I haven't done much other than the YouTube because I've been working on the house. Um, I'm able-bodied again, and I'm off work, so I'm trying to get some stuff done. But the Twitch streams are going to be kicking up. I'm probably going to do, uh, well, tomorrow's supposed to be YouTube as well. We'll figure it out. But give us a follow over there if you haven't, so you don't miss anything, guys. I feel like I'm just missing all kinds of things in chat, and I apologize if I am, guys. I, uh, it's so good to see so many of you here and everybody coming out to check out this uh, game-changing update that's coming to Call of the Wild. And make no mistake, it's a game-changer. This absolutely is, 100% in my bearded fellow opinion, uh, a game-changer. You know, we're, we're not going to be playing it as we were. The, the scoring, everything's going to be changing. King of the Kill, which has been running for two years, believe it or not, my friends. And there's even a Hall of Fame to prove it. And a lot of you have your names in there. And I love going back and looking at the Hall of Fame. If you haven't seen it, guys, check it out on the Discord. Go peruse the Hall of Fame. Some of those, you're going to recognize some of those kills. Because some of them were really big deals. Um, but that's all changing. So we will adapt. We have the technology. <laughs> we will make it work. And we will. And we've had some great ideas. The staff uh, has been brainstorming and banging our heads together. It's true. I have a wealth to show for it. So we'll come up with something. Trevor Vassal, hello and welcome. Metal Mastodon, they should focus on making the A harder, smarter, and much stronger senses. I agree. I agree. But as the levels go up, they do get harder. Thank you very much for the follow, Philip Crosley Moore. Greatly appreciated, my friend. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, because like if you take, like say, for instance, a bear, if you get a level 9 bear, they do not act the same as a level 3. Right? The higher the level, the more heightened the senses. The sooner they'll bug out, the sooner they'll smell you. Uh, you know, there's all kinds. So they, they do kind of have that, but I agree. I agree, bud. I'm right there with you. You know, if, if this is the change that we're going to see in the game, not saying that it's going to wreck the game or anything. I, I, I think maybe, if anything, it's probably taking it away from the arcade approach that it used to be. Might be a good thing. But there would be some more changes, in my opinion, that need to come with it. And that, and that being one of them, um, that the animals should uh, get a little more AI. Their pathing and how they work and such. But there's been a lot of changes. There's a lot of things in the patch notes. And guys, if you haven't seen them, you really, really should check them out. DJ, just subscribe. Thank you very much, my friend. I greatly appreciate it. My OBS is doing a weird thing. It's it's telling me you followed, but you subscribed. So it's giving me a Twitch notification. Yet yeah, it's set up on YouTube at the moment. We'll just unlock that while we're here. We'll go and pick that up. Faulty Giant. Hello, Faulty Giant. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Can we watch? Take this. Beard, 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 beard. <laughs> What's going on, man? Thanks for coming out. I appreciate you. Sable, hello. When is the update coming out? Well, they haven't given us the actual update. Guys, is the stream choppy for you guys? Or is that just my playback? I'm, I'm getting good frames. Well, not great. I'm only getting like 86, 90 odd, um, which is a lot less than I normally run. I get between 100 to 150 normally. Anyways, let me know if the stream is struggling for you guys. I think it's okay. Car TV is just subscribed. Welcome, my friend. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for the support. Who's Birkin? That's just that Famale out there. I don't really want to shoot that because I don't really want to run out. There's a Yote. Or is that a bear? That's a bear. Here he is. Hey, hey. He's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> I love when they said that guy, man. Seriously? I'm going to Photoshop a pot of honey in one of their arms. Playback's good. Thank you, Ryan. Very choppy. You're choppy, Yak. Okay. Nope, seems good. Mr. Sean Johns. That's like we're getting the whole gang back together. We got non-inspirational game in the house. We got Sean Johns in the house. Oh, for those of you guys that don't know who that is, they're uh, longtime friends of mine. We, we don't get to hang out much these days. Uh, time zones in real life, you know how it goes, but they're still fantastic people. We still, you know, we still get along, <laughs> but more importantly to the point, they're great creators. If you guys haven't done so, I recommend giving them a sub right now so you can check their content out. A after the stream, check their content out. Where are you going? Don't leave now for the love of Pete. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seriously though, click the names. If you hit those little dots, you can subscribe to it right here. Give them a, a, a subscribe and check them out later because I guarantee you, they're going to have a take on this, and, uh, you know, they've been playing this game as long as I have, so you're going to want to hear what they have to say. Angie Vang, hello and welcome. Thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Or the subscribe. See, my OBS is messing me up. Okay. Why are you running towards me? <laughs> Don't do it, man. 
I see you over there, but you're moving away on me now. Okay, well, if it goes up on the slope, that's a big shot. But well, we could try it with the odd six and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get the odd six out. We're going to zero it for 300 because I'm not sure how far that is. It's a big one. We're probably not going to drop it. Uh, dead? <laughs> I think it is. David Rogers, thank you so much. Welcome to the community, my friend. With the big shot. With the big shot. Let's go and uh, see how that looks. 30 odd 6, man. Absolutely love this gun. Okay, Sparta, fantastic to see you. Thank you for coming and sliding by. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, the Blue Frogo. Welcome, my friend. How are you today? That's so okay, chaos. The Beard family's fantastic, buddy. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for, for asking. Uh, really, really doing good. Uh, with my kids, so check it out, guys. So my daughter, she's in high school now. She's 13. For the love of Pete. I don't know. She's 13. Not that old. <laughs> she's in high school. And uh, she was off yesterday and today. So that was kind of cool. We hung out and did a nice big uh, cook up here. Did a big brunch. We did brunch, Dylan. Rue, we did brunch. It was fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. We chowed down. But then my boy, my poor little guff, man. It's like 1 o'clock. I get a phone call. Dad? Dad, I, I kind of fell in a puddle. You know, because it beards here a lot, right? It's always bearded. We live in Vancouver. It's a rainforest. We live in a bloody rainforest. Like it, we get a little bit of rain. And, and so I'm like, wow. Well, you know, he's like, can you just bring me some pads? I'm like, you're a trooper. Not pads. I'm going to come and collect you. So I went and picked him up, brought him home. So the, the kids got off early. Oh, let's check it out. Let's see here. Peapod52, hello. And how are you? Okay, we got a gold out of that one. So, um, yeah. So there we go. A 900 score. So it looks like we're still getting the scores, but it's different. No, we are not because that's the metal. That's the harvest check, the quick kill. Okay. Okay. So I'm trying to come up with ways that we can incorporate King of the Kill. Look at him sitting there like that. That's just awesome. <laughs> hey there, boo boo. <laughs> if you were smarter than the average bear, you'd have ducked and weave, man. Like, come on. Uh, but we got 15 to cash out. So that's pretty good. So I'm, I'm digging this. I'm liking this. That I'm I'm waving my hand at my screen right now. I'm liking this. It looks good. I do like how they've done this. I, none of this has changed. Um, you know, it's it's just a matter of we're going off of trophy rating now. It's the trophy rating. So it is nice that we have the the codex. Everything's linked here. We can see for this to be a diamond, would have needed to be a twenty-two point seven trophy. But see, now, there's a question for me, my friends. So it's always been the trophy and the weight combined is what gave us our overall score with the existing, air quotations, the existing setup that we have right now. But that's not the case here. It doesn't look like it. And it has to be. It has to be. The weight and the trophy rating must still... No, but it doesn't look it. Okay, we need to shoot more. We need to shoot more. That's a very nice looking blonde too, isn't it? He's like a dog scooching along the carpet. He's got the itchy butt. Okay, enough goofiness, man. Let's get moving. A Julia chilled. Hello, my dear. And how are you today? Man, we got all our friends from the down under coming out of the woodwork. If I'm freaky and wreck, jump in right now. I'll lose my mind. <laughs> are you going on your first bear hunt, Austin? That's awesome, buddy. I think we might actually... Uh, we've been talking, my buddies and I, about doing a bear hunt this year because I, I missed out on the hunt season last year with the, with the back. So it would be nice to get out and do a little something. Um, and when we can go for bear at the same time, we can get the first round of turkey because we get turkey in spring and we get them in fall here. So that would be an awful lot of fun. Okay, we might just cut over and go get the outposts. We might just go this way. Well, 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 let's let's just get up there first. Let's see what what time is it in game? Nine fifty nine. We're actually making too good of a time. I'm hoping to catch all the white tail at the river. But well, we'll see what happens. Savvy Salas, hello to you, sir, and welcome, Dad Stacy. What's going down, man? Hey, 
Hey, hey, I'm glad to hear that, Dad. So you did get it. You did. Oh, it did not turn out to be a diamond. Oh, well, hey, buddy. You know what? It's it's a level five. If it was on your map, hopefully you can go back and find him again. Might come back a little bigger. Might come back a little smaller. I would love to see. Take a little pot shot with the Mosin, perhaps. Mosin's on the top one. We don't know how far. We're going to guesstimate about 160 odd, 180 odd. I can't see you. All right. Nothing running. Oh, hello, big boy. How are you doing? No, sir, I don't mind if I do. So what happens then? If we put a shot out. Oh, ah, da, 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 I don't have all my perks. He has not died. I did that, right? I shot him with a Mosin. I wanted to see. Oh, I guess I should have looked. Let me just check this list. The Mosin. So a moose is a seven, correct? So the Mosin is not on the list for the moose. It ends at six. And six being uh, blue wildebeest, reindeer, caribou, mule deer, red deer, reindeer. Yeah, so. And moose are an eight, sorry. Moose are an eight. So I wanted to see what would happen now where he's, he's not even, he's not going to drop. That kind of blows that one out. Maybe we can find him and maybe we can put another slug in him and see what happens. Okay, well, let's run up here and pick this up first. Let me just, again, so I've got multiple windows open, which normally I don't have that many open. <laughs> we'll go and pick this thing up. There's some money. That's right, Ryan. We'll take it. We need the cash. Absolutely. Absolutely. So then all of our scores, 250, 250, 300. So is that the max on the harvest check and the max for the quick kill? 250. We haven't had above that yet, right? Species difficulty, 100%. I like that. So here on the session score, we're getting a quick kill bonus. Over here, the quick kill bonus is a percentage. This is a defined number. All right, and you gave us an eight. I mean, diamonds, 56.8. Ah, yeah, we'll just take that anyways. So that guy, wait, he did die. Okay, let's go find him. Perfect. This is what I wanted to see. Uh, we will definitely post that in Discord, and we'll put it into the spreadsheet channel. Um, you just pop in there, and we'll find it, but it's not in there right yet. I will put it in, though, as soon as we're done here. Whoa, she's scrabbling. Wait. Wait. Was I using the 300? Oh, man, I'm just like, my buttons. I've rearranged my last stream. I rearranged everything. It's all muscle memory. I have for two years been pushing the same buttons. Why did I change it? <laughs> okay, so let's find... 85 of 100. I wonder how uh, long ago these guys came through here. Now, where did we see him and shoot him? We shot him up there, right? I'm not really too worried about getting need zones and stuff here because we're not going to have it long enough. It's just for the weekend. Maybe we'll find his tracks. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, where did we shoot him? Right about here somewhere, right? Right about there. I'm a little off. Let's 
Somebody just went into the woods right there. Buddy's Coast likes the 7mm or the drilling rifle. And see, that's really what it's going to come down to right there, my friend, is um, what do you like? What do you prefer? Because, yeah, there's always been some weapons better than others in some people's opinions. Let's always not forget to include that in some people's opinions. Is this the one we shot? Yes, it is. Um, having said that, it comes down to a preferential, you know, what do you want to use? What do you want to shoot with? Okay, so maybe I did use a 300 on him. That wasn't the Mosin, was it? I'm not even paying attention here. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, let's take a look. So we, I did have the 300 out. Okay, so 563. Um, we didn't get any quick kill bonus. So that brings down your overall session score. But we still got a gold out of it. See, that's not right. I'm just, I'm just going to say this right here now. That's not right. I messed that moose up. It did. And I got a gold. Trophy 240. That doesn't sit well with me. I'm not going to lie. That doesn't sit well. Jeez, and I meant to shoot that with the Mosin. What am I doing? <laughs> Eddie Whitworth, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Hey, Henry Grobbler, what's going down? Now we're just putting it through the paces. Bunch of goals. That's all, man. Nothing crazy. Um, but we know we're not really looking for diamonds. Of course, we'll shoot him. If a diamond steps out, we'll take his head off kindly. Yeah, we don't mind. We we will oblige. 1028. Okay, we're actually going to just cut back down over here. I get some good bear on my maps over here. Let's go see what we can find. And then we're going to bust over that other way. What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm going to be using a 243 now because that's what I use IRL. Nice yak attack. Very solid gun. Very, very solid rifle. 300 seems okay under 150 meters. Yeah. Um, when I tested it on male moose, 150 and above, I couldn't get 100% quick kill back when we were doing that. That's all going to change. Quick kill don't matter anymore. Except for money and XP. So, hmm. There's some big implications to these changes. There really, really is. Hello. How's it you? Okay, so let's shoot this with the Mosin. Gah, you didn't look happy about that. That was a snapshot. <laughs> you're in there somewhere. I know you're in there. I shouldn't be wasting shots. <laughs> I've only got six more bullets for this thing. I need to hit an outpost. <laughs> it didn't die? I don't know where we got that first one. Enough that we heard it. But here's another perfect example. Shooting the thing on the fly. Right. Oh, yeah, it's not going to die. I got a lot of big moose and big bear down here, right where we are right now, right at the end. This little area right here has always been hot for me. I don't come here nearly enough either. We shall have to see. No more 22s in the bison, Julia. No, you, I mean, you can. <laughs> Just don't do it to a diamond. I mean, I don't suppose you wouldn't in the first place, but, you know. Yeah, no, they've changed it. You're not going to get... Um, full credit for it. You won't get a you won't get your medal for it. You like all weapons. Dercio says he likes all weapons except the 270 and the 223. Really? I think the 270 is a fantastic rifle, but I'm impartial cuz I really like it in real life. And back in the day when we were limited and we didn't have any weapon packs, you know, the 270 was always in my bag. Uh, it's a, it, I personally, I, I love the 270, but there's no point in carrying it now. Why bother, right? There's the one we wounded. Okay, so let's mix up the calibers now. Let's throw a 300 in. We'll lay him down. So now he's got two bullets in him. We just hit him with a 300, which is not the right rating, and we hit with a Mosin. Which is, I mean, too small, but it's it's on the board. Well, let's see what it looks like. Natsukis, absolutely. Hey, man, have a good hunt. Good luck to you. Hope it goes well. Of 
Ms. Chaz. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't want to see it. The the too similar to classic. I I like the distinction between the two. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm a little sad to see the quick kill go as part of the score because that quick kill. I mean, really, I can shoot the thing and you know, as long as it bleeds out and eventually dies, I got a diamond. I don't know. I don't know. That's I, I always found Classic a little too easy. What I loved about Classic was how much they had in it, but the game, it was just too easy. Um, okay, let's pick it up. Let's see. So, what does that do then? That takes away, so no harvest check. Quick kill bonus gone. Consecutive harvest is up still. Okay. But now we use the two different. We use the Mosin and the 300. And it's not really, I mean, you know, it's showing us, obviously, we're, we're kind of poochied there, our, our trophy rating. But, you know, we, we still managed to get a bronze out of that. And there it is, intact trophy organs. Animals shot two times or less. Improper ammo for this animal used. So that's why that one's not ticked off. It's the improper animal. But, like, let's look at it. I mean, animals shot two times or less. That's... I don't know. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I'll take the money, man. I'll take the money. You're going to charge me. We're going to put you down so we can get some more ammo. The stream's got to go on, man. <laughs> we, we need to go get to an outpost. It's been a while since I've been up to this corner, actually. Where's the outpost here? Isn't it like right there? Right here, isn't it? Isn't it right, right here? Right, somewhere around there. So this one took two shots, and we got all of our bonuses for it. With a 300. It's a little black bear. All right. That takes a little bit of the, the allure away from the 30-odd six. Um, well, I guess it doesn't really. No, maybe not really. Maybe not really. Because it used to be, hey, man, the 7 mil was the... The the was the highest you could go integrity on on a black tail or on a on a black bear. Sorry. So the fact that uh, you can now use a three hundred on it, I mean, rightly so. In real life, you can do that. Justin Hattleman, hello and welcome. Forza Horizon, what's going down? Paul DeGiant says, looks strange, but looks based on animal, not how well killed for gold, silver, etc. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That seems to be how, we're, how they're going at it. Ah, I see, as, as Dercio says, yeah, definitely. That's right. That's right. It says, now, now that the uh, now the quick kill doesn't matter, you'll choose weapons for weight value for sure. So you can carry more weapons in your bag. Makes complete and utter sense, right? I mean, let's face it. That's that's a thing. Weight is a thing. Now, I did take the pack mule again. I've just come too accustomed to it. And I kind of, you know, for streaming and stuff, I want to have a variety of weapons normally with me. So, but would I do that just single player, just kind of doing my thing? I don't know. I don't know if I would, if I would do the pack mule. I might just do, as, as, as you said there. Hmm. Cybeb says the new system looks looks much better than the old one. Simpler, more logical, more flexible. Okay. All right. I, I appreciate the candor. And you know, I mean, some people are gonna like it. I, I I'm not saying that I don't like it. I have I'm I'm on the fence. I think my my issue is that it's just it's, it seems easier to get the diamond. I think that's what it comes down to. I mean, this game is built around diamonds. That was our go-to. And when diamonds became super abundant, it kind of lost a bit of flair, you know? Then I just relied on the, the fun of the game, the actual fun of the hunt. You know, not so much about the trophies. Because for a while, it was all about the trophies. So how to roll? Let's go ahead and make a little money. Oh, you dirty bugger. Go, 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 
pick that up. Weezy Geezer TV, what's going down, man? How are you? Yeah, I think the quick kill should count more too, bud. I do. I do. Oh, well, hello. We're on a bad angle. I'd like to try a double lung from this distance, see if we can even do it with this thing, but uh, we're on a bad angle. We're on a very bad angle. No, I'm going to let him go because I don't have the ammo to follow up. It was a bad angle. I didn't know what range I was at. The sun was in my eyes. Bam, hello and welcome. Clay Bones playing the game right now. Fantastic. Cash and clip, what's going down, man? No, you can't shoot anything and, and get full. Well, I, you know, it almost looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it almost does. Uh, all checks successfully passed. So there we go. Hmm. Every bear is class seven. Yes, they have their own class, uh, which is it's kind of strange because a grizzly is much, much bigger than a black bear. Dylan says, I feel the game is getting to where it needs to be, though. Very well said, Dylan. Yes, very well said. I, I think with the way the system was before, I think they realized some of the flaws uh, and they've tried to, you know, maybe follow the model they have of Classic because it was very successful. Maybe that's part of their reasoning. Um, and I, I do believe that with every change, you know, we're, we're us as human beings, we don't like change. So... We're a little resistant to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think this is probably for the best, th this move. I think in the long run, we'll be happier for it. Um, I'm, just, I'm just worried about some of the balance issues. That I will disagree on, though, Dylan, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. They are. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Um, yes, I have derfed on a shot on a whitetail or a mule deer, and they've ran a good ways before they've they've dropped. Okay, but if you're gonna try and score that, I think the hunter that does the one shot drop would have a higher score than the hunter that has to go and track. I mean, ultimately. Uh, for something to be ethical. I know we're talking real life now. An animal can't suffer. So in a lot of times, people shouldn't take those shots. You should make sure it's going to drop. Right? So for me, and being a game, and that we have a scoring system, it just, uh, for myself, and my own train of, of thought, and I'm not dismissing what anybody else thinks, uh, I think that if an animal drops off the shot, you should get more score than an animal that you have to go and track. And when there's no distingu there's there's nothing distinguishing between the two of you might have to go and track that animal for an hour, but you get the same score as the guy who already harvested his animal and is on to his next kill, you know, or or his you know fourth or fifth. <laughs> I I don't know. I it's you know at the end of the day we have to remember this is a game and it has you know a lot of arcadey kind of aspects to it and i think this change is pretty good and that they're changing it to that effect and it's taken away some of that arcadey feel i think that the new scoring system will help with that uh, but i i still think that there should be something for a, a quick kill and i know it's in there but the fact that you know if that's a diamond i shoot it i botch it i wait for it to come back to its need zone i shoot it again and i enter that in king of the kill and i win over the one that you shot and you know what i'm saying you know Well, you're right, Boone and Crockett doesn't care if you track that thing for a day or, or what, but we're also, this isn't a, a game that's relying on the Boone and Crockett system, and I'm not going to get into a big, huge debate on this to be completely blunt about it, but this is a game that's that's been largely built to this point around the quick kill, the integrity, the ethical hunt, 
right? Nothing ethical about shooting a, a per, you know, a supposed diamond and it runs off and doesn't come back for a while and you still get the same score. You know. I just think it's making it too easy. You can shoot every animal twice without losing the score. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the new changes. I'm not sure what I think of it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't mean to sound resistant. Um, I'm just... I'm worried that when they when they, when they they moved into double lung, um, it was just a breeze. <laughs> it was just so easy that I... Uh, I, I don't want to say I lost interest, but I found myself not playing as much. You know, in my own spare time, I wasn't going for as many hunts. And honestly... Uh, you know, I, it's because it was just too easy. I don't want that to happen. I don't want the game to become a, you go in, you get your diamond, and you're done. So there's no challenge. It's like, look, there's an animal, it's dead. <laughs> you know, that's what I don't want to see happen. That's what I'm trying to stress right now. The ease, the ease of it. Yeah, I do like the fact that no brain shots. Brain shots never sat well with me. <laughs> you guys know that. You've been with me before. I absolutely hated brain shots. Going out there and and shooting an animal in, in, in a brain, like, man, this isn't a first-person shooter. These ain't zombies. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I would have taken a brain shot in real life. Are you kidding me? Well, we're going to head up Diamond Alley and see what's going on here. And then I think maybe we're going to jump over and take a look at the buffalo. I wanted to start on Leighton because I, I know Leighton like the back of my hand and um, I have a pretty good feel for, for well, a very good feel for all the animals here, what they score, what they need to be. Um, do you not even see me here? Lay down, ma'am. Lay down. Spine shots were the bait of this game. I know we all complained about it when we had them. But they were a harder shot to make. That's why I often try to go for heart. I like to do heart shots. It's more of a challenge. All right. Up the alley. At least a little bit. I don't know if we'll go the whole way. Uh, should we just jump to Fernando now? Have we seen enough? I agree with you, Rue. I agree with you. That's always been a complaint of mine. I feel like you should be able to get, uh, and you used to be able to get 100%. I think that was just when they made their adjustments, and it just has never gotten fixed. Haven't played for all what maps? Do you guys recommend I buy? Buddy's Ghost, my man. Uh, <laughs> Spain is a whole lot of fun. And honestly, the Yukon. Uh, now, did you ever play Africa? Because Africa is another really, really good one too. Um, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. All the content we've gotten here lately in game have just been fantastic. Ah, uh, you're right. Side vep, you're absolutely right. He said, that being said, there are many things which they can make the game more challenging. Example, preventing the animals from going back to the same spot over and over again after being spooked. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the crutch around the need zones. So one of the big differences between Call of the Wild and the Hunter Classic, okay, these maps are persistent. The animals that are on here will be on here until you kill them. They do not despawn. Whereas classic, it's brand new every time. So good and bad to that. You can cultivate your maps. You can build areas up with more of one particular species. You can greatly increase your chance of getting diamonds simply by cultivating and looking after your need zones. We've done that and seen that time and time again. Well, on classic, it's a crapshoot, man. So when you find that 
ultra rare non tip monster of a white tail comes walking out. Like, oh my god, you lose your mind. If you don't shoot him there and then, if you cannot find him, you cannot go back to get him. He won't be there the next time you load up. It's a complete wipe. So there's upsides and downsides to that, really, at the end of the day. Upsides and downsides, in my opinion. I think there's, you know. And so it's it's created a whole kind of niche. Not a niche. That's not the right word. Um, oh, of course, here's the moose. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> um, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Buddha Maxwell. My man with the big super chat coming to the door. Let's smack that like button. Maybe you should do it with a couple hands. Guys, if you are just joining us, I would love to extend the invitation that Buddha has thrown out there. If you haven't done it, please do me a favor. Hit that like button. Tag the subscribe if you haven't done so. And hit that little bell beside it. Do it with two hands if you gotta. And don't forget to come and join us over on twitch.tv forward slash jacksybeard. And join the Discord. There, all's the mumble jumble out of the way. Buddha, you the man, buddy. Hope everything's going well at work. It's just not the same without your boots. You get, yeah, you get plain till you get burnt out. Yeah, that's a thing, buddy. That is a thing. That is a thing. I feel like we're shooting too many moose. Okay, we're going to pop one here and we're going to get out of here. Look at all the rabbits. And I think it's going to be that guy. <laughs> Unless there's a really impressive one somewhere around here. We'll have to take a look at Diamond Alley another time. Oh, I missed that, Ruth. So that's actually in the patch notes. That they're they're trying to, to fix it so they don't get drawn back after getting spooked. Um I no, it wasn't no, but that was um and I thought it said answering a call too fast after being spooked. Maybe I'm wrong. There's a lot of moose kicking around here. A lot of moose, a lot of rabbits. They're all, they're all feeling a false sense of security. Do we just shoot a rabbit instead? Take it apart with the 300? I want to go to Fernando now, man. I want to go see, I want to go see these buffaloes. <laughs> Loris, hello and welcome. Nice of you to come on out. Wow, pretty busy. Oh, it's a rabbit. I'm like, what am I? What, what's, what is that? What is that? It's a bloody rabbit. They get me every time. Nothing else around. Okay, well, I can't get this guy to turn. Ah! There we go. Just for the money. It's all for the money, honey. Let's go pick those up. Oh. <laughs> and we're out of bullets. <laughs> the true fellows. That's right, Forza. Hey, Chico, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming on out today, buds. We got a little bit of a run to get around here. We got three down. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Moose, moose everywhere. Dustin Bergen, hello. Spasmo, welcome back. Anything good? Just a bunch of golds, man. Just a bunch of golds. We're not out on a diamond hunt, though. It's more to, to test this and see what it's all about. 
Um, and it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, I, I, I has concerns. Uh, uh, how far did this go? There it is right there. Diamond Alley, man. Fresh out the box. Just packed. Oh, look. <laughs> He's... That's fantastic. <laughs> you decided to come over too. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. You know, we... Uh, 57 on the quick kill. Well, shot it in the butt too. How'd you do? Got a silver out of this bad boy. 100% on everything. So he just wasn't very big. That, that was his problem. He was just a three. And we'll take it. And we're making some money. And we'll go pick up this other guy. Then we're going to jump over to Fernando, my friends. And go and take a look at the true photos. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I see what you did there. I've inspired you to grow out your beard. So, funny story. I haven't even told Mrs. B this one. Ugh. She's going to notice it, too. I was... Doing something in Discord, and I was going to go step outside, so I put my coat on, and I looked down as I zipped up, and I caught a whole bunch of my beard in the damn zipper. I lost one little corner. I lost a tuff about two and a half inches. Oh, I couldn't believe it. And I was, when I finally got it out, it was all torn off, and I was holding it, and I started wrapping it all together. Then I put it down on a little table where I was sitting. My freaking dog walked up. Just yoink. Grabbed it, walked away. Are you kidding me right now? Just ate it. Just ate it like it was no thing. How'd we do? <laughs> He's the little He's huge. <laughs> Absolutely huge. See, that's the shot. If you want to keep it challenging, always go for heart, my friends. When applicable, sometimes, you know, broadside of the barn, you got to take it sometimes. You just got to. You absolutely have to. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? Let's uh, da, 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 da. let's go to Fernando. It does, Bile Monkey, the forty-five seventies lit on that rating, man. I mean, in real life, that thing is a cannon. It's a bush cannon. Uh, I turned the missions off, man. Stop talking. I did. Johnny Great Games, what's going on, buds? No, I was talking about the 4570. I mentioned that in Discord. That's the one rifle that I'm curious on how it's going to perform. See, I don't know if there's been any tweaks with this new update to any of the weapons. Because if it performs the same, just because they say you can take it doesn't mean you're going to want to use it. <laughs> 4570 is an absolute cannon. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great weapon. I would like to see it... Um, okay, so we got to run... We gotta run to a lodge. Dang it. That's this is not where we are. <laughs> Here's our closest lodge. Right there. We're gonna run up to that right now and see if we can swap out some gear. Uh, we'll grab the 4570. We'll take it with us and we'll try it on the buffalo. Because you can take the buffalo with the damn thing. Like you gotta be kidding me. I think that's awesome, man. I really do. Espita is Ernesto Espita, Espita, my man. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Thanks for coming out today. Well, you know what, Balak? Yeah, I agree with you. It, it did originally seem very underpowered, uh, but they fixed it. And if you remember, all of a sudden, that thing started hitting like a beast. I mean, full-blown, that, that thing became a cannon. And we used it a lot on our streams. Uh, the site was a little bit cumbersome because it was 150 meters. You know, you really didn't want to be taking a shot that really mattered. I mean, you could, but you shouldn't because you didn't have that. It's like trying to, you know, uh, with a handgun, you, you want to take a big shot with that. Yeah, it's fun to do, but you really don't want to do it on something that's going to matter, right? What's coming to Leighton? Um... That's a good question, buds. I don't know that there's anything right now planned for Leighton. Other than the fact that the uh, the new scoring system, Outdoor Team Gang, the new scoring system is is what you want to be looking for. And it'd be game-wide. Um, it's pretty interesting. I ain't going to lie. It's pretty interesting. I, I'm kind of digging it. I'm still a little on the fence, but I'm kind of digging it.
Yes. Side vep, I agree. It is. They are the one stop drop, the heart shots. However, using the right weapon. Um, now, I didn't test it recently, but at one point, the 243 was quite OP, and then a bunch of weapons did, had a bunch of rework done to it. The values were adjusted and stuff. And then we were out, and we were trying to do heart shots on Moose with the 243. And even though we were hitting the heart, we weren't getting the quick kill. So I'm, I'm interested to see, actually. I wouldn't mind trying some of that stuff. Mark Hayes, hello and welcome. How are you, man? Thanks for coming on out to the stream. Much appreciated. Guys, if you're just joining us, make sure to hit that thumbs up. You want to see more Friday night streams? <laughs> you got to convince the missus that this is good to go Friday night. <laughs> I don't think it'll take too much convincing. She, uh, she gave me the pouty eyes when I told her I was going to stream earlier. So that's why we started later today. Keith Stone, my man. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, pal. Hope you're doing well. I, I muted. If you're wondering why they're not talking, I muted them. <laughs> you're muted. All right, Boots. Sounds good, buddy. Have a good one, pal. Whoops. When I'm. Whoops. <laughs> It's so bare in here. Y'all remember when we first found all this? I can't read nothing with that thing. Hey, let me through. Generator's not running. The place is a shambles. Two forty three is way too small. Way, way too small to be shooting a moose with, in my opinion. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First things first, we need ammo. We absolutely need ammo. So let's uh, let's go down here. We don't really need... Well, we'll bring the, the 300 with us. We will bring it with us. So let's get some goodies here. That's good. Uh, we need some more for the 30-odd six. Polymer tips. That's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Now, let's see if I don't think we have enough money to get that gun, unfortunately. So we might be stuck this stream just going with what we got. Um, where is it? There's the Mosin. And we're probably pretty good there. Now, what... Do I have for rifles? What all did I buy? Had the 270 to start with. So I bought the 4570 because I wanted to bring it. So we do need to get 4570 ammo. Okay, so now with the 4570, this is a funny one. Okay, you'll you'll see on the hollow point you get terrible penetration, but the expansion's lit. And on the on the soft point. You get better penetration, but your expansion sucks. It's a tough one. We, we've always been on the fence. However, soft point is the way to go with the 4570. Okay. So we're good there. And I don't think we're going to have enough to get the scope, are we? Let's see. I doubt it. I can't remember the Helios 24K. So we're 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 iron sighting it for now, but that's okay because we're not shooting real far with it. It's a bush cannon. That's what we're using it as. Now, do I have? Did I buy any? I didn't, and I won't have the money. I was gonna buy the forty, the four fifty four. The thing's a beast, man. And when you're coming up against buffalo, you know what I mean. But having said that, we're so far away from the buffalo. Well, I guess we're not bad. Just run to the coast. See what we find on the way. Seven in the morning. Yeah, we'll take that. What time are we going live tomorrow, Brooksy? At uh, I, I like to say around noon ish Pacific Standard Time. Around noon. Last week, I think it was about one that we we got live. Um, I try to keep it close to there. It's just hard being a weekend, right? And I never know exactly how the morning's going to play out with the kids and the wifey. So I say around noon. Just keep your ears peeled.
Oh, yeah. No, no, you can't use a 338 on road, dear. And, um, it's, it just would not be ethical. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that because you could take a 300 and shoot a whitetail here. You, you don't want to. <laughs> <You know? laughs> not if you like your meat, but you can. You just leave these big exit wounds, and it's terrible. You, you know, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a freezer hunter. I hunt to fill my freezer. That's why I go out. And I mean, obviously, I love it. You know, who are we kidding? <laughs> That's right, yes. As Johnny Gray says, the 6.5 came of Spain. Um, and I haven't really shown that gun much love. And we will. We will. I don't know that it'll be this weekend. I don't think I'll have the money through the beta to buy it. I do want to get the binos. And I got to keep my ammo up too. So that's the thing. Not too worried about the black t or the black buck that was calling from over here. If we see him, we might take a poke at him. But for now, let's just get across here and go find some buffaloes. Because we can always just start right here and work our way up. This is a great spot, too. Oh, wow. Really, Ryan? His, he says his forty five seventy in real life is a single-shot breakable with an 18-inch barrel. It breaks itself open every time I shoot. Wow. Really? <laughs> uh, I hunt with a 30-odd-6. Remington 700M. My 30-odd-6. Now, the reason for that, and 30-odd-6 is a great rifle for deer. White tail and mule. Um, I don't really hunt bear anymore. We're, we're probably going to go out for a bear hunt this year, but we just stopped hunting them because I don't particularly care for the taste of them. Uh, but I hunt moose, and a 30-odd-6 is just big enough to take a moose down. The 6.5 seems to be exactly like the 270. Dercio, okay. All right. See, now I haven't given the 6.5 too much love. I was using it when it first came out. Uh, and it was failing me on some pretty blatant shots. And I thought, you know, nope. <laughs> I know the guns I like. <laughs> and especially for Spade, all I need is my 30 odd six and the Mosin. I can hunt that entire map. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm a freezer hunter. Absolutely, Bob Monkey. That's why I do it. You know, Mrs. B, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. That thing's got a rack or not. She didn't care. It's just whether or not we were we got some fresh meat in the freezer, if you know what I'm saying. That was probably how we got hit the hardest this year with me hurting my back. Uh well, with the back being what it was. We didn't get a bunch of meat in the freezer. Such a pretty map. Oh, I'm totally getting sucked into a trap. Run this way, Beard. Run this way. <laughs> so, you know, the game itself still feels the same. Yes, the scoring system's going through a big change. But is it going to really seriously change the game that much? I believe it is a game changer in how we approach things. I do not believe it's going to wreck the game. But I'm on the fence whether it's going to improve the game. Now, I like what Dylan said earlier. Mr. Dylan Fender made a point of um, he felt, and I have to agree with him, that the game is moving in the proper direction as it should. So, uh, what do you do, right? Where do you, where, where's, where do you draw the line? Where do you make the call? I think, oh, I probably should have just grabbed a quad, hey? <laughs> well, you're not seeing anything when you're on a quad. I thought maybe we might have seen something. So it's a real tough one. It really is. It's a tough one. I, I keep, I'm going around and around in my head with this. You know, am I happy with it? I think some of it I'm happy with and some of it I'm not. Wilson Grant, hello, man. How are you? 
Uh, hey, no worries, Brooksy. That sounds good, man. Good luck. Have a good time. That's fantastic. Chase Blankenship. What's going down, man? How goes it? I shouldn't be looking over here because I don't want to go over there. I want to go see the buffaloes. The beefaloes. <laughs> Push that there. So I'm looking at this as we're running here. And some of the changes, you know, there's, there's a few good changes to this. Oh, am I going to get trapped if I don't go up right here? Let's go up and around, I guess. Losing some of the guns. We'll never use the 223 again. It's pointless. So if you bought that, rip. <laughs> Unless you want to. Now, let me just say the 223, it's it's a pleasure to shoot. It's got a real nice crack. It's responsive. It's accurate. It shoots flat. It's a nice gun in game. It is a nice gun. But it's pretty useless compared to a lot of the other guns that they brought out. Now, granted, it came with the base game. So I guess, you know, there there is that. Still looks to me like the 30-odd-6 is king. Now they've done away with the whole weapon class system, and it's all about the ammo. It's kind of interesting. You're going to give us different grain bullets? The car box, hello, man. How are you? Don't think I got it. We're just not quick enough getting it up there. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So my bandolier. I get, oh, we did hit him. Hey, look, he's dead right over here. I split my ammo. I split my ammo. I keep the moose at the back. I keep the deer at the front. And, and the reason for that is moose don't tend to bolt. Like, they see you when they're choked that you're looking at them. <laughs> you know, they're going to stab their ground. Whereas the deer are gone, right? So you got to be real quick at getting it. That was a quick little pop. Dropped you too. Look where we hit you right in the back. Oh, this would be a me messy, messy dress. Okay, well. <laughs> it was a gold. <laughs> we got a gold out of them. So a 261 and, and er, sorry, 26.1. 26.5 being the time. I mean, it was a 46 and a half kilogram. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, we'll take it. We don't have our checks up here. And there we go. Nice little uh, teaser while we're running to the beefaloes. Oh, I so should have took a quad. Jess Stark, hello. I'm doing fantastic, my friend. I'm doing fantastic. I'm pretty pumped to be doing a stream Friday night. Pretty pumped. I'd like to spread them out a little. Because Saturday is our regular stream days now. Saturday at noon, Pacific Standard Time, on YouTube. Um, every Saturday. That's that's the plan. Unless, you know, something crazy comes up. And I am a family guy, so crazy things can come up. You know, but for, I'd say, nine times out of ten, that's when we're going to be streaming. And, uh, you know, because I didn't, I, I don't know. I want to have multiple days, but I can't commit to Fridays. I just can't. We often go out on Fridays and such. Um, we're just going to go back to one of my old days. Once we start work, that is. Hero, I hear you, ma'am. See, now these need to be way more aggressive. Here, we can get our 30-odd-6 ready and see if we can shoot someone. It smells us. It's not coming up here. Oh, I hear it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I can't resist it. Don't judge me. Them kitties gonna die. He ain't gonna be purring. Ian Robertson, hello, buddy. How are you? 
yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I'm on the fence with it still. I, I, I don't like that the quick kill really doesn't have any play. Uh, and the fact you can double tap an animal and, uh, you know, it, it can take forever to die and you can still get a diamond out of it. That's my only complaint. Honestly, that is the only complaint I've got thus far. Otherwise, I think it's fantastic. And we'll take that fantastic amount of cash. Stick that in your pocket. Let's head to town. <laughs> okay, back to the beefalos. Brian, that's awesome, buddy. Slayer, you the bad pal. You the bad. <laughs> well, monkey had a boy. Appreciate you guys. Nez Evans, my man from across the pond. It's late for you now, buddy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I'm uh, I'm fantastic. I'm absolutely fantastic, man. I'm living the dream right now. I'm finally back in pretty good health. I'm working out way too much. Like every single bloody day right now. I have got my gym. I pulled it out into our living room downstairs. Into the middle of the man cave. I mean, it kind of works, right? It's, it's a man cave. Mrs. B, I'm still calling it a man cave. I don't care what you say. <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff in there that says man cave. It's a man cave. So I got that out. So I'm, I'm feeling really good. And uh, we got all this, all these fun treats this weekend for Call of the Wild. It's like a candy shop. You know? They've changed so many things. It's a complete rework on the game, in my opinion. Bob Lagan says a 223 is still great if you only need to drop Road Deer on a big game map, and I don't want the weight penalty of the Mosin. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. See, I mean, it's situational and, it, and it's preference. Like, I've enjoyed my time with that weapon. I think the 223 is a, a great little gun. But I also like the big game. You know, I like the big game. I don't like going and shooting rabbits and shooting musk deer. And, you know, ducks are exception because you're in a blind and you got decoys. Or, oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of cool, right? You know. Um, nothing wrong with them. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people that hunt rabbits religiously. And I mean, rabbit tastes great. So, you know, why not? But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, for me, I'm, I'm the bigger gun guy, but I do like the 223. I've had a lot of fun with it in this game, you know, 223 needs some bucks, possibly, possibly dip dizzy whistle, my man. Welcome back, buddy. Yes, yes, side vep, I fully agree. I fully agree. It does not have much recoil. Um, and, you know, you can get some shots away pretty quick with that thing. Uh, it's it's a great gun. It really is. And, you know, it certainly can have a place in the bag. Because, you know, it's smaller, but it's great for taking fox. And fox are fun. They're one of the exception. Fox and yotes, they're small, but I love hunting them. I really, really, truly do. Ed V, what's happening? Welcome. Yeah, man. Beta's treating me great. We, we went to Layton first. I, I wanted to go to Layton and just to put the scoring through its paces. Shot a bunch of golds. Here we are now in Fernando. We're going to go take a look at the, uh, the 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 buffaloes and see what they look like. And I really should have jumped on a quad. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Charlie Laffier got to do some ice fishing. Oh, I'm gel, buddy. I'm gel. Man, have a nice little ice hut set up with some chairs. A little hot plate, you know, to eat your coffee. And it's just cold and brisk. It's, oh, and a little fire in those huts, too. It's kind of cool, man. I, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm due. I'm due. You're right. The new system is very, it, it, it is flexible. And as he said, it, if nothing else, it is flexible. It, it's change and people resist change, you know. But I think, like for myself, I, I worry that it, the game gets too easy. That's my big thing. I don't want the game to get easy. I don't want it any easier than it is, you know. We got a big barn on the side of a lot of these animals that we, we have for a target now with the double lung, like it is in real life, and as it should be, but it was harder before when we were on spine shots. I just like the challenge, you know? 
But I also very much am the guy that I'll just go out and enjoy the hunt. You know, like right now I'm running because I'm trying to get to the woods. But if I was solo, I probably would have just walked all the way over here. You know, seen what I could get along the way. Hunt your way in, right? Like when I discover a map, I like to hunt my way everywhere. Mountain Man Gaming, hello, sir. And how are you today? Oh, yeah. You all hear me coming in? I was hoping to make them mad. Okay. Um, we need to put the 4570 on the bar. Oh, no. I didn't grab the ammo. I'm an idiot. Oh. <laughs> well, there's an outpost here. Oh, there's an outpost right here, too. Let's go there. Let's just see. We get a little closer. Let's see if we can do anything with this first. Then we'll hit the outpost to grab the ammo. How did I not grab the ammo? Stupid beauty. Fuzzy Barbecue was cracking, man. King Broden, how are you today? Well, Dip, I was going to try out the 4570 because it does go all the way up. To Buffalo, which are the, the nine, the nines on the new integrity sheet. So I thought oh, it'd be kind of fun to take that. So we, we, we had her all there, but I didn't grab the ammo. It's a thing. Dilly dilly. What's happening, buddy? Okay. Ooh. Oh, they look good. Look how big the freaking horns are now. Whoa. Now that's something else. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now you're talking. Um, What am I going to shoot this thing with? <laughs> what am I going to shoot it with? I guess we're going to have to use the 300. Oh, man. We need the nitro. <laughs> Mountain Man says, been looking to get on your scenes, but keep uh, but work keeping me down. Love your vids. Oh, you're getting on nods. I'm sorry you're talking to Nod. Yes, absolutely. Check out my man, Mr. Non Inspirational Gaming. He's got some fantastic content. I don't ever get to catch him. He streams really late for me, so unfortunately I never get to see them. Or it's right at dinner time. It seems to be the way. <laughs> That's, appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm absolutely floored here. Absolutely floored. They're, they're freaking huge. Now, that's what water buffalo should look like. Y'all done it in, in classic? Because in Classic, you really get a feel for it. I, I was one of the first times I played Classic, seriously, outside of uh, doing that competition and stuff when I started with EW. And uh, Flinter took me out, and we just ran through the swamp, killing everything. It was insane. Well, you're all going to move now? Where'd that mythical go? There it is. Didn't even scratch him. Look at the size of those things. Holy man. I might've hit a tree. It didn't even register a hit by the looks of it jason fleming hello my friend welcome welcome hello from the land down under i have quite a few friends from the land down under that's fantastic always a pleasure to meet another one my friend hope you're doing well today let's see what these bad boys do 
A little disappointed they didn't get mad and turn around and come and try and skewer me. And we have another one calling from over here. Kind of expected to see it trailing off. Where did that go? I knew I shouldn't have taken my eyes off it. Well, the rest should be coming back. There it is. What are you? A seven. So if we can't do brain shots anymore, we can try and get a double lung on these bad boys with the 300. Look, that one's walking in the trees. Look. <laughs> Remember, this is a beta. <laughs> Even McPherson, I fully agree. It really does, man. No, no, um, Sidevep, I'm not. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I, uh, I I did it for about a year, and we saw crazy, crazy growth. But unfortunately, I just couldn't stick with it. I had to get back to work. I own my own excavation company, um, and I recently sort of, I don't want to say merged, but I, I put my equipment in with another outfit. And uh, then I got injured. And I went to go back, and there's no work at the moment, so I'm off for a little bit. I'd love to do this full time, but unfortunately, I just I wasn't able to commit when I was doing it before. And, uh, it was nutty. I I couldn't believe how fast we grew in that year. Like absolutely ridiculous. Um, the support was absolutely amazing. So now for me, it's all about. Quite frankly, it's all about our Discord community. That's where I spend the majority of our time. When, I'm, when we're not streaming, that's where we are. You guys coming back yet? Maybe they're not. The wind's not the best for over here. It's not bad, though. Come on. Nope. <sighs> Don't think so. Too far away shooting them on like that. I feel like you got to get right up in their face. I can't believe the size of the hordes on these damn things, man. Oh, yeah, we killed it. Let's go take a look. Hey, when you hear a cat and can't find them, yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> Wait, Jason Fleming, you you got three hands, brother? <laughs> Ball monkey hit him with two fingers. Where are we gonna go here? There's the blood. Let's just look and see what else was over here. He didn't get very far because uh, we checked and that, that mark, the hunting pressure came up pretty quick. There he is right there. So I guess it wasn't a bad shot. I was actually hoping to get two in there, but my recoil is just terrible. Let's get a look at you. Oh, maybe in here. Look at the size of the horns, man. That's just a seven. 
That's just a seven. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. We got 29.1% of the quick kill. Huh. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. So a single lung will take him down with the 300, just shy of 150 meters. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Ian McPherson, my bad. Thank you so much for the super chat. He says, well, I'm glad you're back. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. Yes, I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. Thank you so much for the support. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. And uh, go get some sleep, bud. Go get some sleep. You can always watch the rest of the replay later. Beautiful thing about YouTube, right? I can hear these bad boys. Well, guys, not bad. Not bad. I think I'm overall pretty pleased with what they're trying to do. Execution, well, the proof is in the pudding, so we'll see how it all goes. Um, they have my support. I like some of the changes. I have a few concerns, and I've voiced those. Um, but I think ultimately, I think it's a good thing. I think that uh, the game is moving in the right direction. I think by streamlining this and, and, you know, making more sense, so to speak. What was that? Making more sense with it because uh, some of the integrity is just... I understand it's what they had gotten to work in the game, but what they're adding here now is more realistic. So I like that. I like that an awful lot. I think in conclusion... Time will tell. We'll test this out a little bit more this weekend. I think we'll probably, uh, well, tomorrow, I think we'll come here and we'll we'll do a buffalo hunt. This is a nice little teaser. That, that, that was a seven. And that thing, man, you could park a small car between those horns. Whew, man alive, you really could. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, Bob Monkey, sounds good, buddy. I'm about to wrap up myself. Uh, I, in fact, guys, I want to thank everybody for coming out and joining us today. If this is your first time here, you're watching this down the line, or maybe you've just never done so, do me a favor and show a little support. Hit that subscribe button. Tag the little bell beside it. Do it with two hats if you gotta. Come and join our Discord, guys. That is a uh, link in the description. It's absolutely fantastic. we got a lot of great guys and gals, hunters, gamers, uh, some that don't even game, just like to hang out. Definitely come and check us out there. Give us a follow over on Twitch. I would greatly appreciate the support there, guys. I am starting to try and grow it. It's twitch.tv forward slash Jaxybeard. And uh, I, I don't know. Please come and join us and let's have a good time. I'll see you tomorrow at noon, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are going to get rocking and rolling and ready to go once more. Thank you all so much for coming out, guys. I, I It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What a fun stream. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yes, sir. <laughs>